USN special. Afghan Sikhs killing. Sikhs are known to say, those who reside in Kabul are always in a struggle for survival. This is a phrase to describe Sikhs in a difficult situation and how they have to make continuous efforts to survive and grow. What more describes the status of Afghan Sikhs today? Ten Sikhs including Afghan parliamentary candidate Avtar Singh Khalsa and Gurdwara leader Awail Singh and seven Hindus died and nearly two dozen people wounded in a suicide bomb attack in Jalalabad, targeting a busload of Sikh and Hindu leaders on their way to meet the Afghan president. Significantly, the land of Jalalabad has been consecrated with the footsteps of the first master guru Nanak Saib. Undoubtedly, whoever did it was seized with the desire to rid Afghanistan of its inclusive culture and society by killing these leaders and sending a message to the Sikh and Hindu population that they are not wanted in present-day Afghanistan, demonstrating the reasons for the dwindling of Sikh and Hindu numbers from thousands to a few hundred. The resilience of those killed can be gauged from the fact that they chose to be there to look after the remaining Sikh religious places of worship the Gurdwaras and temples, as thousands of Afghan Sikhs and Hindus have taken refuge in Austria, other parts of Europe, United Kingdom, USA, Canada and India. Let it be known that ten courageous Sikh leaders were killed. Living in the face of death every day, they were on their way to meet Afghan President Ashraf Ghani. An entire generation of Afghan Sikh leadership has been wiped out in one day. It will take a long time if that time will come to bridge the gap and produce such leaders again. According to travel writer Gurpreet Singh Anand, apart from the religious angle of Muslim superiority, the Sikhs support for Pakistan, the annexation of Peshawar and its subsequent amalgamation into Pakistan may be seen as major irritants between the Afghans and the Sikhs. Today, Afghan Sikhs are sad and angry. They have been crying hoarse for the last three decades that the state does not allow them to cremate their dead bodies and all cremation takes place within the Gurdwara premises. Sikh bodies across the globe have failed to persuade the Afghan government or the militant outfits to do away with their wrong approach. The Global Sikh Council has sought full protection from the UN for the Afghan Sikhs. Powerful Sikh leaders of the West need to lobby the US, the UN and through these institutions the Afghanistan government and other leaders to ensure that no more Sikh lives are lost though I wonder whether any of them would still stay back. The SGPC and DSGMC will be holding a sit-in outside the Afghanistan High Commission in Delhi on 3 July 2018. Reactions to the killings of Sikhs have been dramatic. One young Sikh writer on his Facebook page says that today once again he desires for our own Sikh state. Another says, since last night, I am recalling the heroic deeds of Hari Singh Nalwa. The life and times of the West may make it difficult for them to come back, but these devout Sikhs who know how to live and how to die will resurrect them from the present situation and one day soon will re-establish their foothold in Kabul, Jalalabad and other parts of Afghanistan. USN Special Afghan Sikhs Killing